Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Mass Effect 2 here with our Shepherd and Gide and Twitch streams and uh, later on in YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, I hope everyone will enjoy some more Mass Effect 2 here on Twitch streams and later on in YouTube as well. I think I pressed the button to feed the fish. Though, flame, I'm pretty sure that I pressed the button to feed the fish and then I came down afterwards, yes. I'm pretty sure I pressed this button and I just went off. Like this way. I did that and then I just went away. It's like, I don't need to do more. I pressed the button to feed the fish. I'm sure they will be fine. Did ya? I'm blind. I am blind. I don't know if you were blind. Maybe I didn't quite manage to press the button, but I tried to press the button at least. That's for sure. That's the only no thing that... For you, Commander. I'm not too surprised, Kelly. Not too surprised that there are no messages for me. Whenever would anyone message me? That's the question. Okay, so is this the arrival DLC? This Viper Desku Dr. Genson? Is this that one? Hmm... And yes, I know, Blaine, that they will be fine after every mission. And yes, okay, this is the arrival DLC. As long as you feed them after every mission or save your fish will be fine, yes. Um... Uh, so basically... There's the recapture freighter that I'm not quite sure how that's supposed to be done. That's then the main quest line. We could go back to the Shadow Broker base and have a look what exactly assignments we had. We had plenty of those assignments from that place, like the little quests, so to speak. This thing. Citadel found a forged ID. I guess we could try to go and delete these things. Hide out in the Sakura Wards factory district it may prove useful to someone. And then Stromptium Mule. In the Omega Nebula thingy. But otherwise I guess we've done most of the things, so... I guess it's this stuff now, or should we save these things also for later? Question mark. Mm -hmm. It's been a while indeed that you've watched me play Mass Effect 2 at least uh, live, and I guess you haven't uh, looked into or watched me otherwise play. Then play neither. <sighs> but yeah, well, my first wishes died, so that's why I'm way more careful now with these wishes. I need to keep them alive. Are you going to visit the Citadel for some reason later on? I don't know. I have no idea. Why should I go and visit the Citadel? I guess I might as well go there now. And uh, yeah. Then while at least waiting around to see what we want to do. Strontium Mulas is the only assignment left. That's the problem I didn't play. Anything except what in last seven years. Yeah, that's uh, mm, try other games with good storyline. I got you, Milan. There are more, but not discovered yet, I would assume. Yeah, probably. Probably. Let's check to see the tell. I anyways can buy some more weapon stuff and things like those because I definitely haven't bought everything that I can from these places and at the moment I actually have cash to spend so I can buy something if I wish. Maybe, maybe. I remember at least on top of my head that I do think we saw, which by the way might be that freighter for all I know. Okay, don't know. I have no idea. At the moment I'm a little bit more unsure what would be the thing that we should do. For sure we is. Ah, oh, that bio charge. This just reminds me of that one battle. Ugh. Risky but powerful, yes, and really, really, really freaking annoying. Absolutely annoying. Oh, that has to be just the other possibility, as in not Samara, but the other person. That's what it has to mean, I would assume. You have three, but not quite four. I guess that's all good. Ooh, 
Let's go visit in our the best sh shops of the citadel after all. In the Sakera ward. This is the Sakera ward at least, so... Into this direction. Was there anything that I could talk yes. with you? I don't think so. I no. should be going. You need so, anything else, let me know. Let's check. So what is was it exactly that I needed to do here? Uh, found Forge ID. A Forge ID has been located while assaulting Harkin's hideout in the Sakara Ward factory district. May prove useful to someone, but... Mm. I found a Forge ID. Where would I need to go with that? I have no freaking clue. For someone. Where? Fine. Fine. I just need to pick up some spices. Amino dextrous and amino sinister, if you have it. Huh. You don't mix your spice corality. What cooking school did you take? If only I had any idea where to go with something like that. And yes, my name is Commander Shepard, and this is how much uh, of a sellout I am. I can't wait for that. That is will be the day, you know. That those are the best moments. Certa Foundation is likely to close by the end of this fiscal year. The Foundation never recovered from a deadly attack by biotic extremists on one of its medical centers two years ago. An exogeny archaeological team has been reported missing. They were last seen in the IAEA cluster's Enoch system, an area of heavy pirate activity. Sure. I'm not even sure if there was something really useful in here or if I needed to go in elsewhere, but I just tried to check things. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. There was at least shops yes, here. There was definitely at least shops here that I can try to maybe use. Advertisement. Now available on video, the abridged version of Francis Kitt's award-winning production of Hamlet, featuring an all um. cast. Nostalgic <laughs> melancholy. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest. Of most excellent fancy. Deep accusation. Where be your jibes now? Your gambles? Your songs? Your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the table on a roar? And don't forget to catch Elcor Hamlet Live, an unforgettable 14 hour experience. Insincere endorsement. You have not experienced Shakespeare until you have heard him in the voice of Elcor. Um, that's, um, uh, I do say that coming to the Citadel to just uh, even listen to this advertisement that I don't remember ever hearing before was worth it. Elgor Hamlet. 14 hours. Such an enjoyment, I'm sure. Now available on video, ah. the abridged version of Francis Kitt's award-winning production of Hamlet, featuring an all Elgor cast. Fearful wonder. Angels and ministers of grace, defend us. Be thou a spirit of health or goblin damned. Bring with thee airs from heaven or blasts from hell. Be thy intent wicked or charitable. Thou comest in such a questionable shape that I will speak to thee. I'll call thee Hamlet, King, Father, Royal Dane. Oh, answer me. And don't forget to catch Elcor Hamlet live, an unforgettable 14-hour experience. Insincere endorsement. You have not experienced Shakespeare <laughs> until you have heard him in the voice of Elcor. In the voice of Elcor. And yeah, insincere endorsement is good. That's why Elcor is awesome. They got even light scenes. Now available on video, the is this uh, going to be something more? Because he did say something new just a moment ago. So forecast. Morose rumination to be or not to be that is the question. To be or not to be in the mind to suffer these slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing and them. And don't forget to catch Elcor <sighs> alive, an unforgettable fourteen hour experience. To be or not to be Of 
That's for sure true. Let's see, is there something more than just the uh, to be or not to be? With true, <laughs> beautiful, very beautiful indeed. That was beautiful. Uh, it's just a shame that I have to listen to these parts again, but there's new things, so I want to listen to all of them. <laughs> yes, yes, now available. Mm -hmm. Give me some more so that maybe I will buy that. <sighs> You're getting teary at so much emotion. They never sarcasm. Mm. And yes, so much emotion. It's no wonder that you're getting teary-eyed by this. It's so amazing. It's the best acting I've ever, ever experienced. They're definitely way better than I am. I think this is the one that we heard in the start, yeah. Where be your jibes now? Okay. And yeah, they repeat now. Yep, I was thinking that now this is a repeat, but at least not before. So there was quite a few to go through nonetheless. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new album. I don't think there was anything in here for us anymore. We went through this place already quite a while ago, but I'm just checking if someone wants that thing that we have, apparently. And then we can go into shops and just buy stuff for ourselves and stuff, and at least we've listened to an Tomorrow, advertisement. The taste Solarians have come to love. Nothing wakes you up in the morning like Tupari Sports Drinks Blast of Tupo Berry Flavor. Tupari, it's good for you. Tupari brings your ancestors back from the grave. Nine out of ten Tupari drinkers recommend Tupari to their friends. The last one is on my list. Ah, uh, so you're gonna kill the one that didn't recommend the drink to others? We sell so much Tupari, it has to be good. Sure. Twelve trillion bottles of Tupari are sold in a day. Where's yours? Oh, that's right. It's inside me. <laughs> it's inside me. So good. Tupari, ten minutes of berry bliss for only one credit. Only losers drink Perigade. You want Tupari. Winners drink Tupari. Winners drink Tupari. I know you're weakening. Tupari is on your mind. Give in. Give in. Well, I do not want to know what's inside of you, man. Just saying. <laughs> That's a damn long commercial, it is. Commander Shepard drinks to party. Uh. Don't you want to be like Commander <laughs> Shepard? Commander Shepard is referenced under license from Alliance Military Recruitment Services. Um, yeah, sure. Commander Shepard also drinks to party, did you know? And we didn't even make this sellout. Maybe we sold out for this a long time ago. Who knows? I don't know. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious to party sports drink hit the spot right now? To party. Now available with dextro amino acids. You could really go for a Tupari sports drink, couldn't you? Tupari, now made with 10% real Tupo berry juice. 10% Tupo berry juice. Only 10%? Tupari is made with no natural sweeteners. No natural. That's that's bad though. If there's no natural sweeteners. That that's bad. I knew a man who went three days without a Tupari sports drink. He got hit by a shuttle. Yes, that's very likely to happen when you don't drink for three days, that thing. Yes, definitely. You don't want to stick your hand into that machine, Flame. 
Maybe it was an ill core. Those guys are, of course, the sixes around. Mm -hmm. Tupari, the taste Solarians have come to love. Finally. Nothing wakes you up in the morning like Tupari's <sighs> Four Streaks Blast of Tupo Berry Flavor. Apparently, we have even sold out for that. I'm Commander hey. Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the... I'm just browsing. Come Thanks. back soon, Shepard. The nerve enhancements say that there are uh, occasional... Come back soon, Shepard. To your run, favorite shop in the Citadel. Shepard, we know time, sir. Uh, Station records show that you made only... Zero credit. Last year. What? If you need something to get you to your next paycheck on error, date not found. Let cause porn and made <laughs> loan can help. We offer you credit on the spot for personal and home electronic devices, precious metals and jewels, genetic essay data, and virtual intelligences. No credit check, no questions asked. All we need is your citizenship ID. Come down today. This is a public notice that Citadel Security will hold an auction of confiscated property in this ward on Earth date, August 4th, 2185 at 0830 Zulu time. Zulu time. sold include jewelry, personal electronics, private starships, cargo and sport related personal shuttles, art and antiques from various cultures. For more information, visit any CSEC kiosk or link into Citadel Net at keywords CSEC auctions Zakara. <sighs> Playing the checker, so that is uh, that is a lie. I had to party and it tastes like diet sunk as mine is the good stuff. Mm hmm. Brain um, made some synapse connections and now I think they are talking about house warming parties. Mm hmm. Gotta say, the holographic videos have. Pretty shitty quality for the future. They for sure do. Um. So the world. Mhm. Mm Are you tired of paying the high cost of a decent extranet connection? Are you sick of companies that restrict your access to certain sites, cap your downloads, or charge outrageous overuse fees? Public access terminals are free, but prone to lag and signal loss. But there is a solution. With Genentech's patented technology, you can enjoy the same reliable high-speed access enjoyed by executives across the galaxy. Just plug our black box device into the data port on any public terminal and you're on your way to fast, reliable, and anonymous extranet access. Sure, I definitely trust that. That type of song. At Ion Liquidators, we are different. We don't use high-tech ads that use your name, job, history, and marital status to tailor a message just for you. I am Keth Mack, owner of Ion Liquidators, and I have only one message. I offer goods and services for less than my competitors. How do I do it? Foreclosures, bankruptcies, store closeouts, insurance sales, inexpensive advertising. Come to Ion Liquidators for cheap goods. I find deals so you don't have to. Okay. Different type of advertisement. Whoa, this guy is honest to a fault. I like him. He definitely was honest, though. He was definitely honest. Your attention, please. Citadel security reminds residents and visitors that heightened security precautions are in place. His mouth looks strange when he's talking. By a CSEC officer, please be prepared to offer biometric and genetic data for identity confirmation. If you see a synthetic unaccompanied by an organic owner, Report to the closest CSEC kiosk or link into Citadel Net, keyword CSEC Nightwatch. Remember, we are all responsible. Very for strange. Strange mouth you have. What the? I think the guy might be synthetic. Yeah, that face, face was very strange. Uh, even if his practices are despicable, yep. Uh, that what's with his face? I have no idea what's. Okay, yeah, now it's going around. No need to. 
Listen I'm more. Shepherd, and this is my favorite, favorite store tool. In the Citadel. Yes. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay, I don't have everything from here. Damage protection, Scott bonus. Yeah, I'll buy that definitely. I guess I could buy this too. Why not? Then we have a lot less credits, but at least we have some upgrades. Woohoo! Woohoo! Damage protection is maximum now. Woohoo! Celebrations are planned across Terra Nova for the upcoming anniversary of the thwarted terrorist attack on the colony. Okay, so this area is looked true. Definitely. Oh no, no, not you. Ah. Ah, let's just go into Sakera Bank. Oh. And then. Did my mouse somehow... My mouse doesn't work. Uh, mouse, come back to me. I can't move my camera here in the game. Like, at all. I don't understand why. But it definitely doesn't work. Using that quick travel... Uh, stop my thing from working somehow. I don't understand exactly how, but it definitely did. Can't see anything. Ay, god damn it. Mouse, work with me, please. Okay, I'm gonna try to quick save and then load. Because I can't really do much if that starts to be happening like that. And yes, if reload. I like more new versions more than original. Mm hmm. Um. Uh, and yeah, I was thinking indeed that I need to save and reload. Or that was the first idea. Okay, my mouse works. Woohoo, I'm saved. But I was like so weirded out that it didn't feel like it was working. And it certainly didn't work. So then just go and have a look into all of this. I I'm think I have everything from here. Favorite store on the Citadel. Yep, I even have the wishes. Welcome back. I'm just browsing. Of course, take your time. I have everything from here already, to be honest. This is depressing. Yes. I've always find it sorry and beat the crap out of it. That always makes you feel better. Yes. Sure, that always makes you feel better. Always. Okay, let's just check this area for the shops. If I don't find anyone that might be interested in that thing, then I don't know what else to do about it, to be honest. I'm so. Shepherd. And this is my favorite store. What can I do for you? My favorite store. All right. I'm here if you change your mind. Okay. Oh, dear. Well, heavy piston damage is definitely something I want. And I guess this is the most logical... Well, I don't know. Which one should I get? Sniper rifle damage is something that uh, Karus uses. And I have Karus with me all the time. On the other hand, I use submachine guns too. So which one should I get? Because I can't even afford both of those. Well, at least I do definitely All like I'm my heavy pistol, sure. so... Aim for the best, what do you know? guys say? Sniper I rifle or my submachine gun? Okay, that hurts Maybe try in the warehouse area thingy. But yeah, it's kind of annoying. I still can't afford even both of those things, but who knows. Warehouse. Mm. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic. Shepherd, you've recently been dead. Don't you deserve the quality and distinction um, of a traditional Asari burial robe? Anata's mortuary offers um, the finest quality burial robes, hand spun by skilled Asari artisans. Anata's <laughs> will help um, you leave a good looking corpse. You've recently been dead. Yes, that's a good advertisement. You've recently been dead. What about for the next time you have a better robe? In everyone's life, there is a moment when things crystallize. You can see all the roads that have led you to that point, and all the paths that lie ahead. For you, Shepard, that moment may be when you first sit in the pilot seat of the Arlo's 2185 model Tenacont. For 500 years, Designer Saleh Kelpion has refined this luxury sport shuttle. Each 
is a unique masterpiece, hand assembled by skilled craftsmen. Visit our showroom in the Presidium today, and perhaps you'll see that the path ahead of you will be traveled in a Tenacond. Miss Shepard, a woman of your beauty deserves the finest in biotic technology. Thanks. The next time you're out on the town with Officer Vicarian, the new Sophist Biotic Amplifier from the Ceres Council is the perfect accessory. Power, precision, elegance. It's not just an amplifier, it's an expression of your femininity. Sophist. Cheer. Constantine Solikovsky once said, Earth is the cradle of humanity. But one cannot remain in the cradle forever. Shepard, in these troubled economic times, the one thing you can be sure of is that humanity will continue to move into space. Don't be left in the dust. His Embrace eye looked very the strange there for a moment. Always when he closes his eyes, his other eye goes down also like really strangely. Your eyes this are broken, dude. I can't help but stare at that. Your eye, dude. Yes. <sighs> uh, she has the same voice as the Gianna Parasini, the second Asari. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very familiar, yeah. Shepard, could I have a moment of your time? I was just thinking what a pity it is that you can't enjoy the advantage of a true 360 degree holler projection display. If you were watching this on the new Monavi Avatar Wide Field Surround Vent Projector, you could see that there's a naked Asari behind me. Monavi. Because real life is surround vid. Sure. I really would want to see that. That for sure. Shepherd, you've recently been dead. Don't you deserve Okay. I've thus uh, seen this commercial. I do not need that Asari burial robe, but thanks for the offer. Much appreciated. And opinions, that machine gun so sniper rifle. I think I'm leaning towards the sniper rifle just for the big reason that it's for Karus. And it's like, it's still the last choice that I would make. It's the last pick that I would want to use. So it's probably the smart bet. Probably. Don't know though. You don't know about me, but I'm curious about the naked Asari. <laughs> Naked Asari bit. Sure, Flame, sure. I'm sure you would be curious. What'll it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. You wanna know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I'm done for now. You should tell me something. Sure That's what you... Uh, that means. You should tell me stuff. Dance. Uh, okay. There should be a search bar. Flame. And I don't know, Dayonda. <laughs> I'm also a little bit at the loss with what uh, Milan meant with that, but, anyways. Search bar. I don't know what you mean. I would never have found it without you, my hero. Hmm. Ah, okay, about the naked Asari, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I'm at a loss, to be honest, a bit. Ah, that's just a toilet here. Hello, dude. Bye, dude. Um, where did I exactly? Was the warehouse completely a separate area then? I guess I should then go and just buy the... Especially when you guys aren't helping me. Why can't you guys help me? All the naked Asaris are now mine. That's good, Flame. I'm happy for you. You can have all the naked Asaris. Very good. 40. Let's just get the sniper rifle damage, I guess, then. Because I don't know what to get. It's just a shame... That I don't have 7,000 freaking more What's credits this? that I would need. Ay, yeah, yeah. And it's not even the maximum sniper rifle damage yet. Ay, yeah, yeah. So annoying. For 10 credits, <sighs> we offer data protection for any game we sell. If the copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download Melting it. Melting ice. Yeah, but that was. It was the commercial for that. Melting ice. Hmm. But I can't go to the factory district. 
So, I don't know if I can do these things then anymore. Is this the problem? I know that I use submachine gun. That's the thing, Flame. I ask you guys for your input. I said that I use submachine gun myself, so I could definitely use it. But I definitely wanted at least the other thing, as in the heavy pistol. So I took that first. But then I asked you guys, will I take the one that Karus uses, as in sniper rifle? Cause I am going to have Karus alone with me all the time. Or do I go and get the submachine gun? You didn't respond to me, I ask. Well, it's between floors, that's a hint. Have fun, look for it. Ugh. <laughs> I'll help you out, Kira, but I'm enjoying your reactions too much. Fine, Blaine, don't help me. <sighs> mm. For the end, I suck at a board. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I've been there though before, but the problem is I don't remember how to get there. I definitely do not remember. Like... I was here. I was in this warehouse location, though. But this is just a warehouse. But I didn't say anything more. Unless I can go somewhere in here, but I don't think that was the case. So at least this won't be the answer then. For sure. This can't be the answer because there's nothing. It's between floors. And yes, I got you what you meant, but I was trying to look into the map then and trying to figure out where to go. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't think that's helping me at all, to be honest. So, let's move. And uh, there might have been part of the problem indeed that I skipped uh, going into the upper floor, so maybe I can find it like that, but we'll see. I'll try. If I can't find it, then I can't find it. I'll try it though. I will try. There's nothing here. No, not from what I can see. There isn't. That looks like I should be able to go and walk in there, but I cannot. If I can't find it, then it will be left undone. Souvenirs. Citadel souvenirs. Right here. Right for you. Definitely don't see any other areas right here on the way. I don't see. There's only this place then again. Yep. I don't know. I have no idea. I guess I can just leave then. If I can't get into there, if I don't have any idea how to get into there, I'll just leave. It's at least only one little quest that will not be done then. Oh well, no idea. But imagine how much more fit you'll become from running around the stairs, sure. But I don't see anything there, so... I don't see anything, so I shouldn't be just running around the stairs if I cannot see anything. Um, and this doesn't help me in any way, there's like just a rapid transmit thing, transit thing that this is saying, and then the citadel souvenirs. And this doesn't talk about factory in any way or sense. So, yeah. I don't see how this is helping me in any regard. That's galactic news, that's nothing more. Apex Omni Tools, I cannot enter there. No matter how much I might like to, I cannot. This doesn't help me, right? This is a weird flaw of uh, effect, yes, but it's nothing else. So, I shall leave that. I'll check one more time on this other side, but if I cannot get there, and I won't, it will be fine. Ah, that's the problem. Visit Dark Star level 28, and that was the level 27 that I accidentally all the time walked into, but I never noticed this. I can't believe these humans. No Seriously? Violists. What did they turn this place into? Who are you, Kalara Tommy? You wanted the thing? Are you really the person who wants the thing that I have? What's going on? I overheard you talking. 
Having a problem? It's a private matter. Ah, uh, well. Could have fooled me. Oh? Is that why you're sitting here in public whining loud enough for anyone walking by to overhear? Fine. You wanna know? Since your kind gained a seat on the council, they've taken over CSEC customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. We've been flagged as a potential risk for geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. Alrighty then. So, what's the risk? Why would they consider you a risk? You're obviously not geth. I don't know. They wouldn't tell us. We got on a list somewhere for some reason, and they won't tell us anything because it's classified. Who should I talk to? Who won't let you board a ship? I don't know who made the decision. Some pencil pusher at the shuttle port told us. The one outside the CSEC station? Eh. I guess I can also... I'll see if I can get it sorted out. I'll talk first, though. I'll talk first, and then I'll go and see about the watched ID thingy. You found it! Yay! Clap! Yeah! Well, I happened to find it, yes. Yes? Somehow. Uh, I should be going. Who is it you that I need to talk to? <laughs> That's the question. If I wanna do the talking way and run that way, then who do I need to exactly talk to is the question. Like, this person would seem like the obvious choice to me, but he didn't seem to have a choice like that. You'll have to wait for the... Can I help you, ma'am? No, thank you. Just Next! Through. Huh. Well, was there an option that I didn't notice? Or was there not? Was there something else I needed to do instead that I didn't realize? Apparently, I guess there's no other way to do things other than just use the Forge ID, I guess. Um, is that what I'm taking from that? So sure, I guess I'll just give the Forge ID. Here, Kalara Tomi. I overheard you talking. It's Having a private matter. Since we've been flagged as a potential risk for Geth and... Maybe these would work. They're new transit IDs. You... How did you get those? Does it matter? If you don't want them, I could just take them back. No, no, I'll take them. With thanks. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow. Welp. Bye-bye. Good luck. I guess. <sighs> there are other options too, but okay, you did it that way. Well, because it didn't seem that I was able to talk to the person that I thought the most obvious and then the quest itself just says that find a use for that thing so it's kind of confusing in that sense why does it just show that option that just do that that's all oh well because I wanted to talk but I didn't know who to talk to and there wasn't even an option like to me at least there should be then a written option there that hey or go talk to someone Give this or to go talk to someone, just like even just someone, though that there is a for certainty a knowledge that you can do something else. Because I definitely didn't from that know that. Did I come again in the same direction that I went in the before, or uh, did I go in the wrong direction? I don't know. I have no idea. Level 28. Then this was the level 27. There. There's the level 27. No, this is the level 27. It's just that I happen to need to go walk close enough to those guys. It's weird. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. Anyways, we're gonna be leaving. It's not like I have enough credits for anything more. And after all, I still need more money to be able to buy the submachine gun damage upgrade too. Unfortunately. Come on, please. About 6,000. I need to make something nice. It's for a date. Just... Well... And yeah, in the end, I don't think that they are harming anything, those couple of Asaris. So, does it matter that they are leaving from here with those watched IDs? I guess it's gonna be okay.
Well, I tried to see about the investigate options, but I guess like with her I would have needed to investigate, but I didn't notice that there was any other investigation options. I asked the two things that I saw there to be asked. And there was about also about who should I be going and talking to, and it said that it was someone like that that was there. And I didn't know who it was, and I didn't see an option with at least the main CSEC guy about it, so anyways. <sighs> we have bigger things to worry about like Reapers. Who cares about Reapers? They can wait. They soft. In one way or another. Eat. Don't die on me, fishies. Then let's at least install the couple of upgrades we got. Uh, tech upgrade, like the tech damage was also not necessarily that essential, but on the other hand, a lot of my people can use it, so... Hmm, did they just automatically get already those upgrades on? I guess, most, but this separate gets plus 40% health. That's at least a nice little get to get. Still little safe and uh, what then though so let's no see messages for you commander what a surprise I haven't done anything um mule has been captured in blue sun smirks in the Omega Nebula Omega Nebula uh, Shepard to inflict. Yeah, that's the arrival. That's the thing that I wasn't supposed to do yet. Omega Nebula. Wait, isn't there a way for your fishes to be fed automatically? I thought there was. I have no idea. I didn't say I don't like Kelly, but it's not like she's my favorite character, sure, but I don't dislike her in any way. Kelly's okay. She's a little bit too. Well, so you wish won't get fed. Um, but anyways, I don't really know where in the Omega Nebula I should be going. That's a big question. Any advice, guys? If I want to be trying to do that uh, quest of this. Uh, there are ship um, goes on smirks in Omega Nebula. And this was Omega Nebula, right? This is definitely the Omega station. I assume it's the Omega Nebula and not some other place. Yeah, this is Omega Nebula. But maybe it's in some other location, even though it's just confusing because these are all marked like, okay, that's 50% somehow. Because it's just, I didn't know this that in there. So, okay, let's go and recapture the freighter then. That's okay. Okay, this thing. And yeah, a little bit too touchy-feely and especially immediately without really knowing us in any way. Maybe that's the problem. Like, if they would know us and would be like that better, then it would be a little bit different. But immediately to everyone, it's a little bit just like I need a little bit of a distance from that. That's pretty much all that I could think of saying about it. <laughs> of course, Kelly is not your favorite. We all know who is your favorite. Yes, Tayunta. My favorite is Gaiden. <laughs> oh, or that uh, JB idea is one option, yes. AC and O in between. Mm -hmm, totally. Totally. Anyways, derelict ship detected. Derelict ship registered. MSV Storontium Mule. Visible damage from weapons fire. Ship is not responding to health despite life signs aboard. Transmissions using known blue suns. Inscription detected. ALOGs are sealed, but the ship can be boarded to an emergency hatch in the cargo hold. Let's go. Create a new Commander Shepard in a different class or gender for an entirely new experience. Is it entirely new experience though? It can be a new experience, but would it be entirely new experience? 
Now that's the question. Who do we want to take with us? Huh? I don't end quite know. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I could take Tane. Tane hasn't been us with us for a bit. So sure, I'll take Tane for a while. Shader ammo. I think I'll start taking the shader ammo. That seems like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, you still remember how Mosquito liked looking at that video of Jacob doing the workouts. Definitely. Loved it. That was the best. Embarrassing to watch. Mm -hmm. Real fangirl moment. Yes, totally. I've never ever before saw someone wanting a man that badly. Yes, for sure. Absolutely true, Flame. It's very embarrassing to talk about. Though. So. Deploy a lot of things. I am about to die if I stay up to there, look too, too, too long right there and then. Aha, uh -huh. my allies died. That's good to know. That's very good to know. That all of my allies already died. I want to get rid of that guy first and foremost. It's very nice though that they're kind of waiting for me. Just slowly kill them. Very nice. Very pleasant. I would be a lot more worried if they weren't this nice for me. Just waiting for my singularity. <laughs> Have that. <laughs> Don't you yell again at me like that. You really don't need to yell that much. It just reminds me. It reminds me how it used to be. Good, you guys got up. Welcome back, guys. I've never ever before saw someone wanting a man. Yeah. You already- I already read that. You can't talk about anything other than Jacob. I do kind of have to wonder how much you guys like Jacob. How much may you guys want Jacob too. I don't think it may be completely just something that one person wants them or just girls want them. I kind of have a feeling that you guys have a crush on Jacob too. Now die silently. Don't be so rude. Yes, that would be what I would like to say to them. They are quite rude when they don't die silently. Dax, that incoming ship isn't leaving. Looks like the fools are moving the board. The airlocks are sealed, so don't waste your time. Get a team together and be ready to welcome them to our cargo hold. Blow them out the cargo bay doors when you're done, Captain Forhez. Uh, I guess that didn't quite work out like planned. And yeah, I mean, who doesn't love Jay? Well, of course, how could we not? Yeah, see? So it's not like I'm alone in that then. You guys have joined in that uh, team too. Obviously. What are they doing here? That's a good question. No idea. What have they been doing? All airlocks sealed. That's all it says. But why? Why are all the airlocks sealed? <laughs> Sorry to find this full Jacob thing way funnier than I should. No worries, Dayunda. At least we didn't ogle him while he was doing his things, you know. It's frankly pretty disturbing. Yeah, it was totally my fault that it was on the camera. I don't know. Is still here. I don't know. 
seems that there is some people over here. to move into the cover here. Who... How did you manage to hit me like that? It's my question, to be honest. How did you manage to get such a hit on me? Oh, uh, Tain, could you come into here? And Garrus, can you try to go into the air? Spread your matter to the sea. Sing your matter to the sea is a very strange sentence, I gotta say. Yes. That was way better of me just commanding them to go up, to be honest. Should have done that already earlier. <laughs> Sorry, but Ash Williams for life. Mm hmm. If someone were to actually come here and see us talk, would they think we're serious? I hope to God not. I hope not. I might even enjoy it a bit if someone thought you were serious. Mm -hmm. Yep, I do also wonder how many potential monsters we have scared away by this uh, Jacob talk. <laughs> did, yeah, it definitely did uh, spread your matter to the sea. That's what I was thinking also that Dane said that, which was a very strange sentence, I gotta say. But, okay then. Shakir, you see, you see in the stash they pulled from Garko. We get that open and we are living the high life for months. Judge and Portis took the canister topside while poor Hess went to bribe the goats from the ship's captain. Man, I wouldn't want to be that guy. Hawkins. Okay, so some expensive stuff, I guess. Which is, way is the right way? Into the there, apparently. Security lockdown in effect. Seek security console to override. And I guess the same in here. Yes. I guess this is the security console. Yes. There must be a way in. Sure. I'm sure there is. How would there not be? Why so? Uh, a plague tale, innocence. That sounds very strange, Milan. <laughs> oh god, now I feel... Eh, don't worry about it, Flame. I'm sure it's all okay. Yes, I mean, all... Uh, Tayunda was just as much contributing for scaring viewers, for sure, at least. That game can be interesting. Okay, I gotta remember that. Some more than others. I don't know. You apparently have that on a wish list, Kire. I don't remember all the games that I put on the wish list, <laughs> but uh, I gotta look into that then. But yeah, uh, some interesting games I put into the wish list and then just uh, haven't, of course, gotten them or at some point may look into them more. But yeah, maybe at some point then. And uh, if there's someone that's been scaring people away, it's probably me the most, so I wouldn't worry much about it. I wouldn't worry. This is not the right way to go, so I guess I should go in here. Maybe there's something extra here. Or maybe there's a maze. Now it's there. Um, That seems to be a very dead person. Extremely dead person. Let's check the other side then, if also that takes us somewhere forward. This definitely doesn't seem to be the right direction. What was that? Oh. 
I was like so <laughs> kind of confused even. This is a dangerous place to be at. Uh, senior guys even. That's very annoying position though, I gotta say. Very, very annoying position. your armor completely down and then you will be at our mercy basically that's a different person I guess I can kill you like that that works fine enough but this isn't the place I needed to come into, but... Oh well... I did... Gertz, heads up man, those intruders are still alive and fighting their way through the ship. They have Commander Shepard with them, you better get your men ready to fight. Bordis has something up his sleeve, he's got that canister full of loot and I think it's planning to do something to Forhess and take it for himself. Wouldn't be surprised, fat whore. Yeah, sure, they have Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard. FTL tribe inoperative. Extremely useful information. It's inoperative. Yay! 100 cash! That will help me a lot. Loads. Extreme helpfulness. Extreme. Well, unless we cleared this room, I guess. Which is something. Um, why would you of all people? Well, they hear me. I sometimes don't maybe talk enough. Who knows? There's plenty of reasons why I might be scaring other people away. Who knows? It's way too nice for that. Um, well, maybe I don't talk enough. I don't know. There's many ways. Many ways. Maybe someone thinks that I'm too young of a boy, for example. That may be scary. Who knows? I'm not sure you would be able to scare anyone, anyone away. Not sure. We probably have quite a few assignments left. Depends um, how many there would be in the Shadow Broker, I would assume. But I don't know. Uh, maintenance records. FTL tried damage and repaired with substantial parts. Risk of complete failure is elevated. Yeah, well, it's not working now. So, that's still the case. So then that direction is the right way to go. And yes, I am a young boy to some guys at least. Some think that I am a young boy. Come on. Yes, stay down. Did we already get them all? I guess we did. That was inefficient. Not inefficient. Very efficient. Which way? I guess that way. But maybe this is also the right way to go. Doesn't seem to be the right way to go. What was it that I even was looking into? Not sure. That still seems to be the right way to go. Well... <laughs> oh 
my god. Hey, hey Nestrix, welcome to the stream for you too. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That's just too funny. Too funny. Oh, the humanity. My god, get out. What are you doing to him? <laughs> I'd like a bowl, please. Yeah, that's uh, true. Uh, <laughs> okay. I guess I gotta go and finish them off, but that's just like, that's perfect. Uh, uh, oh gosh. <laughs> he. He. Red Bull gives you wings, apparently. I've given him the wings. He's flying. That's why he's yelling all the time. <laughs> Parotis. Paparotis there, for sure. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. Poor guy. Now you don't need to worry anymore. Guys, come and finish him off. Guys, where are you? Come to me. On my way. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> Act three of the. Oh yes, that's a good one. Thank you. That's the best so far. This poor fellow. Yes, poor fellow indeed. <sighs> Red Bull gives you wings and immense pain, apparently. <laughs> yes, it was a good one, Flame Brushy. <laughs> That's the best so far. I uh, sort of died too, but yeah, this uh, guy definitely made me laugh. A lot. That was the best. Poor Kai. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. He just practicing. For what exactly, Milan? Damn, what happened here? And yes, that's also a good question. What exactly would have happened in here? I don't know. They were killed very brutally, I'd say. But a flamethrower, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. Ah, oh, that was perfect, though. Also, link it in Discord so others who haven't yet been here can see it. Because that was good. It's almost the bosons who make the best of this kind of situation though. So we could lock down in effect seek security console to override as always. Yes, sure. I'll go and try to seek for a security console, I guess. Oh, this is oh then hmm. guess that wasn't anything. I was hoping that there would have been some info there, but no. No luck. Oh dear. I don't think that's very likely, to be honest. I gotta say, that's not very likely thing to go and happen. Uh, yes, yes, there's of course a way in. What you talking about? But that's a this transmission relay console. Communications relay in operative. All things are always in operative. <laughs> Man, it was so long I had to make two. <laughs> for opera, <laughs> yes, okay, yes, practicing for the opera, that makes sense, yes. Unfortunately, his career was kept cut out short for because of us now, so that's quite sad, isn't it? That's that one. And battery on top, and then this one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All done, thank you, Flame. They're through my shields. I'm on it. Watch out. <laughs> this isn't that efficient from this distance, but at least our garage should be able to do pretty good stuff from there, so that's definitely preferable. Oh my gosh. Oh. I was already thinking that you're not gonna do it again. That's a long time. Ah. 
Let's see if we can deal with one or another at the time. There you go. Fly by. Just a little bit of yelling. Command bodyguard, but then your leader already died, dude. What's the point anymore? There we got it. Because of shot ready. Oh, he's already dead. That's just one to deal with, guys. Just kill him. <laughs> uh, he yelled to the end. Oh. Oh dear. Well, at least I let them both already start moving, so to speak, so... It should be pretty good. Fly by. Any more of you guys? Uh, yeah. Definitely more of them, guys. Mm. As I must. No, actually, Tain, you should be over here. Very well. Or actually, Tain, go there. And Garus can <laughs> go there. Oh. <clears throat> and I can be here. Oh. <laughs> that works just fine by me. Let's just equip this for a change then. And yes, those delicious screams. This game sometimes, I just <laughs> I guess that's one of the reasons to play as a biotic. For sure! That's definitely the reason to play as a biotic. To hear all the delicious screams. Okay, so you guys need to just come up from there, visible, so I can try to deal with you. Well, that dead guy started to fly about, but I know that there's the other guy. I don't want to go there while he's just waiting for me to come there. That doesn't sound like a good idea at all. How is there like two musics on top of each other's at the moment? That sounds very strange. Uh, on my way. I guess Got we it. have to. Affirmative. I'm on it. Okay. That was pretty nice damage actually from that, for sure, too. Charge and forest. Then just waiting for a singular thing. And basically you're gonna be finished. As you will. Affirmative. Firing eye impact shot. Yes. Just finish him off. That should be all good. Let's just well, I can't still save. So I guess there should be more enemies incoming. Yeah, there is those enemies. I was thinking that those look like enemies, but... Well, that wasn't good, Garrus, that you went and died there to these guys then. He almost started to yell and then I stopped him from doing it. What a shame. Well, that was a fly distance and a haul. All right, good night and sweet dreams. Go on postal. Bye bye. Have a great week. All righty, let's go check out if we can find the cargo. Ship's main lock is at least over here somewhere.
Portis, your men better be ready. I hear the intruders making their way here, and you better be ready with backup. The captain was not forthcoming with the information, but I found his codes in the ship's back black box. We'll get the canister open, but first we have to kill these intruders, Captain Forhas. Guess that didn't quite work out. This is the final entry for Captain Jared Barnes, skipper of the MSV Strontium Mule. If you're reading this and my crew and are dead, two weeks ago we answered a distress signal. It turned out to be a blue sun strap. We managed to escape but sustained heavy damage. Do not approach the coordinates in this lock. If you find the ganister in our Gorko hold, you are welcome to its content. The authorization codes are encrypted in this lock. Authorization code description complete. Well, I hope it's gonna be worth it. Is I guess what I could say. So cargo hold. Of course, to degree at least into this direction we have to go. I guess it's all the way down probably. Don't know. We'll see. Might be here. I wasn't able to be here before. Jack here. This is it. Get your men under control and ready to move. The intruders are the key. Once they hit the bridge, Wohes will call for us. Do not answer. The intruders will take him out for us and we'll get the codes to this canister ourselves. At that point, take out anyone on your list. The fewer men left, the bigger the prize for each of us, Sergeant Portis. Yeah, I guess you would have needed to attack earlier so you could have actually maybe beaten me rather than just come and get killed as well. But hey, I don't mind. I didn't mind that, so... Hey, no worries for me. Iridium payload. Yeah, some cash. 3,700, not that bad. Not amazing, but not that bad. I guess I could leave, but where there's some other areas I should investigate? Not certain, though, to be honest. Um, I don't think there was other doors that I would need to actually go and investigate in, so I guess that's okay. So, we can just leave. Sure. We got the payload. Yep. So recovered sensitive intel, Serpus upload commencing, defeated blue suns prevented looting of disabled freighter MSV Strontium Mule recovered substantial payload from MSV Strontium Mule. Credits, Iridium. I'm tempted to go back to Citadel and just fight the submachine gun thing too, Sub submachine gun damage, because then at least we have all the um, upgrades bought from Citadel. We still have stuff at least that we would need to buy in Ilium, but I probably will never get those, but at least we would have everything from um, Citadel then. Extremely tempted to do so. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. How am I not surprised, to be honest? Um... And Omega 2, don't forget that unless you brought it already, Kide. I did it by some hacking upgrades at least, that's true. But let's go to Citadel first to buy the upgrade at least, cause it's just annoying when I have all, uh, like, um, know that I bought everything else at least other than one thing, so. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that this is probably something that we saw then the ambush site detected from Cerberus Command. We started going through that intel. Fine work, by the way. We've discovered the location of the base where the strontium mule fell into the Blue Sun's trap. The Blue Suns are indeed using false distress signals to lure merchant freighters near their base with the intent of capturing and raiding those vessels. If you can get out there and shut down their beacon, it will save a lot of merchants a lot of distress. It's also a strike. It will also strike a blow to the Blue Suns as a fool. The base is on the planet Sanctum Decoris System, Sigur's Cradle. We have uploaded coordinates to the galaxy map. Alrighty. Stop Blue Sun's uh, attacks. Blue Sun attacks. 
And yep, money is definitely not useless like it was in Mass Effect 1. Yep, it's definitely something. Definitely something. But I think at least I should have now enough credits. Barely, but I should have enough credits to simply go and um, at least get the um, upgrade from Citadel. So let's just go and get there first before even buying some fuel. So let's visit here quickly first, buy that upgrade, and then I have it, and then I have all the upgrades. So that will be nice. Well, all the upgrades from this spare civic location, but still, you know what I mean. I think I should maybe take Saeed with us, considering he was in the Blue Suns next, and if we are specifically going and attacking against the Blue Suns, it makes sense to take him. I'll take Karus and then Saeed. I think that's an okay plan. Here, I don't care who I take, really. It's not like we're here to do anything else than just one simple task. Which is to buy an upgrade. Run, run. Running, running. That's just a complete soonest in you talking. You just want to finish the planet completely. Uh-huh, yes, yeah, sure is, sure is. It's not that bad. But yes, the SMG damage or whatever it is should be useful enough. Yep, that too. Yeah, do you use it after all? I do, from time I'm to time. Commander Shepard, and this <sighs> is my favorite store on the Citadel. And now at least that's a 4 out of 5 damage upgrade, so that's not bad at all. Not bad having that upgrade for us. I am too tired to run. I just want to get out of here quicker, Shepard. No time to shop anymore in all your favorite shops, you see. So we gotta run for it. Make a run for it. I actually should have checked how much cash I exactly had now. I had almost like maybe 1000 at max. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, very little. For sure. Yep, I guess so. Flame, I guess that's the truth. You need to run up and downstairs more. That's definitely the case. We definitely do. I guess that's also a mission where I need to go and freaking feed the fish. I guess so. Mm -hmm. More stamina would be needed, definitely. Definitely would be needed more stamina. No messages for you, Commander. I'm surprised. I didn't do anything, so I'm very surprised that there's no messages for me. So there should always be messages for me. Always. No questions. Feet. Go. At least it doesn't take that long when you just rust there. <laughs> or you just do some workouts with Jacob. That's always a possibility. Yes. Definitely. Always. No messages for you, Commander. Again, I'm so surprised. <sighs> nope. I have now 1,700 credits. That's a lot. Uh, that's not what I meant to do <laughs> at all, to be honest. Let's see, where was this place? Uh, disable the false signal, secret's cradle. Alright, let's go there then. Definitely at least want to do this quest yet, still before ending the day. For a certainty, and anyways, this is completely a new area apparently, so I guess I should be exploring all of this quickly. So that will take a moment. Watson. A planet called Watson. I have detected an anomaly. Anomaly! 
A large moon, Franklin retains a trace atmosphere of carbon dioxide, but its desolate surface holds no signs of water or life. In order to defend Watson from the pirates of the Terminus system, Franklin is home to two Alliance spaceports and naval bases, capable of fielding six fighter, fighter squadrons each and uh, each unclassified number of interplanetary ballistic missiles. Mass effect fields keep the gravity in its uh, installations at a comparable level for the long term living. Launch detected. Report to hazard shelters immediately. Repeat. Javelin Mark II missile launch detected. Report to hazard shelters immediately. Missile launch detected. Launch detected. Report to hazard shelters immediately. Yeah. Repeat. Javelin Mark II missile launch detected. Javelin Mark II missile launch detected. Mm -hmm. I have found something. Anomaly detected. Scans detected. An alliance colony defended by a Javelin Mark II missile base. A distress signal indicates that the base is compromised by Batarians who have launched two missiles at the alliance colony. Total destruction of colony is imminent. Zero probability of survivors if missile strikes. Find the control panel in the Javelin Mark II missile base. Time of impact calculated. Landing party will have five minutes to activate the missiles after shuttle touchdown. That's not a lot of time. Before I try to do that, I wanna save. Properly. Because that doesn't sound that promising. But sure. Let's do that. Uh, you've been watching a lot of great Ace Attorney Let's Plays now that the fan translation is out. So much Sherlock Holmes. Mm. Shoot an enemy, select it slow or topple it. I haven't been doing that much. I'll take Dali, I trust Dali. With Garus, so. Yep. Batarians trying to launch a freaking missile like that at humans, of course. There's no timer yet. Now there is. Looks bad. I should have just used another singularity to be honest. That would have been better than not using a singularity. That will kill them quicker, all of them. I'd say that would be the best idea for me to do in that sort of situation. Apparently that was not the way to go though. Which is kind of annoying. Do I just need to go and unlock this door then? I guess so. Must be the case. Yep, bypass that. That that's took too much time, to be honest. Which is not good. I may fail. Very much. Ah, those were different. God damn it. I wonder how much time that took then when I just tried to do that really quickly. Too quickly then. Yeah, but they have shields. What about punching through their shields? We don't really have a lot of time to just hang around though. I died. I tried to do it too quickly. Maybe. I don't know. It's a difficult event. I don't know how far it is. Um. Time to, time stops when you hack, doesn't it? I don't think so. But yeah, I just did a mistake there. 
call me to play what? Ah, uh, yeah, you need to resist in Milan. Mm. But yeah, I understand it's difficult when uh, your friends are asking you to come and play for sure. The Sir Golden Ark. Well, let's try to do this again, and hopefully better this time. Firefight here. Warning. Two missiles are approaching target. I am transmitting a countdown to impact. Oh. 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 Their shield. Oh. 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 This just overall will make it quicker for everyone to deal with those enemies though, so... And now at least I'm not going back there, so that will speed it up a little bit. Then need to do this quicker, or well, well enough, without doing that sort of mistake like I did before there. Which was very stupid of me. Then need to be careful but fast in here. Heads up! Ooh. Enemies ahead! Ooh. Why did that go there? That's so annoying. Okay, this guy was definitely the issue for me. I can't really battle there or into that direction if these enemies are attacking from this side. I need I need my singularity. I just hope I will have enough time. to press the other button to be honest but oh well that's okay too in the end that did work a little bit strangely though there's a commander i think these are the last guys still though that i need to kill actually hopefully at least this should slow him down my shields are down. Should be doable still. Okay, but our commander is gonna die. Can't save. I don't have any idea where I exactly need to go. It's apparently there. Um, is it like because it's this thing? But where do I need to? Where do I need to d disable it? Can like <sighs> I'm confused. Oh, is it into this door? Okay, I guess this door. But it's like I when you don't know where to go. Definitely also would be a lot easier if I actually knew where to go. That and then you guys. I hope that was all the battle though, but no idea. Nope. I've got no shields! Dali and friends, I need your help right like now, please. I'll get just come here, right now, I need you. Oh, 
uh, green, a lot of green that I need. Uh, then that sort of line. No, that was the wrong one. A mm. uh, little bit of blue in the end. Difficult to spot. That one. Okay. I got it at least then in the end. There is only one remaining kill switch code. Therefore, only one missile can be stopped. Use the kill switch code to save your selected target. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I have to select which one I need to se uh, stop. Hello, you leveling. Welcome to stream for you too, though. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. I hope your weekend has been a good one. I can came in the middle of an intense battle. Yep, you missed some epic stream screams, though. Yep, you definitely did. Tali, friends, come here. I need you. <laughs> Fearlessly heartwarming. Treating your companions like friends. Nice. Mm. Space or industrial zone? Probably not that one. Apply kill switch to protect alliance interest and tactical viability I'll pay at the cost of hundreds of lives in the city. Ah, uh, can't do that. Apply kill switch here to sway the city and hundreds of lives with its industrial area destroyed. However, this colony will no longer be viable and will have to be evacuated. Well, I guess I gotta save this though. <laughs> Nonetheless, save capital city. That should do it. Unfortunate that the industrial zone will be destroyed, but can't be helped. Then. Cannot be helped. The other area just completely doomed. Now it's gone. At least that area is saved. Can't really be changed though. That's definitely the option that I have to still choose, even if they then will be losing their livelihoods and will have to be going and uh, evacuating and everything, but still. It's the choice that must be made. Palladium. At least I can check a little bit if there was something else I would have missed here somewhere. Possible? No idea, though. Okay. Explosive crate. But that was quite of an intense battle to be able to save it for sure, because it's not like there was that much time in the end. So, definitely was not quite that easy to do still. Ow. Wow. 100 credits. 100 credits that I had missed. Okay, let's just walk off from here. Might as well. Well, I guess I gotta press this. Leave. Okay. Thank you, Flame, for the congratulations. Hmm. Prevented the Batarian radicals from destroying colony on Franklin. Protected colony's residential core. Thousand lives saved. Fundings, palladium, and all that. Export your safe game to Mass Effect 3. If you survive. Would be quite something to be just completely killed. Well, it's not like I haven't died many times, but you know. Many, many times. How do I start from there? Anyways, I meant to go and feed my fishes. I would assume that there's some sort of message about that too. Would be surprising if no one thanked me of at least saving those people. Not oh, possible, but I would hope they would. There are no messages. Well, maybe I'll get a message later from that. Who knows? Maybe I will not get even a message. It's possible. Don't forget the wishes. Indeed, it's important not to forget the wishes. No messages for you, Commander. Are you saying I can't import myself? I'm dead. Horrible. Indeed, it's really horrible. But so it seems to be. It's really, really sad. Pretty rude, too. Why can't we do it at that time? Would be surprising if there was another anomaly somewhere over here, to be honest. So I assume there's not, but still, I gotta check. Gotta check. Valis. Then this thing. 
Okay, this has been looked through. Then we need to go here and uh, go into Degoris. Degoris. It's kind of funny how it like flows a little bit, or because it doesn't stop immediately. So let's just check this quickly first. Okay, this will be probably the last thing we do exactly today. At least it's something, some new missions done today. Sanctum. Sanctum is proof of the old spacer Ada Adake. Um, just because it's called a garden world doesn't mean it's a picnic. Racing ice storms cover the bowls and temperate zones. Leaving a narrow strip of habitable land, habitable land at the equator. That's the habitable land, I guess. Dry, but windy. This area is home to Sanctum's minimal terrestrial plant life. The planet has yet to develop land-based animals, so invertebrates grow quite large in its pelagic seas. Mining referred to as ice cracking at anywhere but the equator is a common employment on Sanctum. The planet is rich in platinum and palladium deposits as well as boron, which is locally used in semiconductor dopings. Travel advisory. Carbon dioxide levels on Sanctum can reach 5000 parts per million during thermal inversions. Travelers should carry a pret preet mask at all times and consult the Sanctum World Weather Service for warnings. Travel advisory. Piracy is not a 14-year global high in Sanctum. Visitors should take appropriate security precautions. Check all those tunnels for runners. Report back to Captain Nerum when you're done. Check all those tunnels for runners. Report back to Captain Nerum when you're done. Check all those tunnels for runners. Check all those tunnels for runners and report back to this captain. Captain Nerum or something like that. I have found something. Anomaly detected. Distress beacon detected on initial sweep is confirmed to be a fabrication set in place to lure unsuspecting ships into orbit for pirate ambush. Preliminary scans indicate that shutting down false distress beacon will stop the Blue Sun's transmissions and disable their ambush site. Service scans show Blue Sun's communication signatures concentrated around the shuttle hangar bay. Mark Mir again. Male Shepherd is everywhere. You cannot escape. Obviously enough. You cannot escape. Refuel regularly. Okay. Alright. Garus and Zaid, you can come with us. This is Pluson's activity after all. Said at least has quite a bit of uh, these things that we can give to him, so. Inferno Grenade. Boom. Do -do -do. More damage. Recharge time is the same. Impact radius is a little bit higher here. Damage points over. 100 over. Number of fragments is less. Let's take this one. I think that's fine. And then cannot afford anything more, but at least we have heavy inferno grenades. So it should be okay. I wonder what weapons you were using. Um, this one. I guess that's okay. Heavy rifle. I hope that's okay. Nice starry sky. Hi guys! Disable the false distress signal. I would say that it's more of an ambush for us rather than them though, but okay then. Yes, yeah, such an ambush. I'm happy when I'm not timed though. <laughs> so much uh, like more like a relaxing mm. 
That's totally fine. Let's just get another one in there. By the way, Flame, you might even... I don't know if you can actually already uh, link the screams to Hugh, but uh, yeah, they were epic screams at least. Missed. Epic, epic screams. Extreme level of screams. Hi there, Blue Suns. Guy. I'm missing you. And I don't love the fact that I missed you so many times. You are still alive. I don't even see your health bar, but you are alive. Do you have so little health that I don't even see your health anymore? Or are you now invertible? You cannot die. No, you had so little health that I couldn't even see your health. It's very strange. <laughs> it's not fun to be floating around like that, I do understand that though. I might not be the first part. Mm. It's not used anywhere. Everywhere. Makes sense though, after all, you are not fighting as many females as you're fighting men. Yeah, that's true. And the second part, yes. But thank you for linking them. I don't know if you can actually watch them, but maybe you can, maybe you cannot. I have no idea. I would like to get some more ammo for my gun. I found it strange how clearly human is female they made us are. Mm. Yeah. Refined iridium. There was something else in here. There was a datapad. Datapad there. At least that we can look into. A shuttle just landed outside the southern entrance. Get out there and take them out. Should it? Yep, and considering they are genderless, yes. Why are they so female like? It's a good question. Due to concerns over employee safety, the Broadfield mining facility has been closed until further notice. Oh. <sighs> My shields are dead. <clears throat> Can you Garus go and move a little bit even more into there though? Some nice explosions. I guess I would really need to be closer for the shotgun to be better, but oh well. It's not the end of the world at least. You're so close to death, I don't think I need to worry about you that much. In all honesty. He was still yelling. If I just left him in peace, he could have yelled even more for us. <laughs> it goes on and on and on and on. Yes, you. it really does go on and on and on and on. I was thinking that you should have fun with that. <laughs> He's kind of yelling too now. Unfortunately, he just can't live that long, but... Otherwise, he would have liked to yell too. Uh, I guess because they're mostly philosophers and thinkers and only females are like that, of course. Yes, of course. Only, only females ever think, you know? Yeah, I have no idea why. Because there has to be females? Female-looking race, so that they can then do a lot of those Asari dances everywhere and all that. I don't know. 
<sighs> it would have been more interesting that they wouldn't have done that, but what can she do? Living quarters. And then that place. Mess hall. What a surprise that that seems to be the correct direction to go in. So I would like to not go into there yet. I would like to go into this direction. Into the living quarters area. There's not much even in here. So yeah. Definitely a better place to come into. Bypass the wall save. Wise. And those. Databot. Good luck, I guess. You had your feet in that bed, Said. One toilet is pretty low, considering how many beds there is, but okay then. I don't know, Flame, maybe there is an interview of two in which the creators talk about it, but I'm not in the know if that's the case. <laughs> Said is sleeping. Leaving me. Sure, fine. I'll leave Said be. Then, if I must. Um, and yet, yeah, it would have definitely been more interesting, Sarah, if they have looked like some elder chores with their pretty method, if I'm being honest. Yeah, anything really. It just could be even just like more Android type of thing, even just like that wouldn't look female or male. Because why should be it looking like that female-ish? And yeah, no cover at all in that toilet either. Yep. But yeah, um, it's just silly that they are just like so females because that's how normally people uh, or many males would be viewing beautiful and all that. But yeah, it's stupid. Quite stupid for sure. It's nice to have that explosion effect overall from that, for sure. For sure, that's lovely. Always lovely. One less to worry about. Yes, one less to worry about. And another one less to worry about. <laughs> that was hilarious, thanks for the links. You're welcome, Hugh Levelin, and yes, thank you, Flame, for linking them. And yeah, it must be impressive if it's a number two. I'm oh, sorry, do not need physical contact. They embrace eternity by joining minds and sauce. Yeah, so why would there need to be physically attractive? And especially because it's not like they... Like, what would be physically attractive to us should be something that would be physically attractive in the Asari culture to begin with. Why would they have exactly been made the same way? It's just silly. Silly, silly. Silly, silly thing. Why they are like that. At least it's not like Salarians and everyone else is like... Uh, their females are necessarily like our, us in humans. But why must the Asari be like human females? Don't know. Don't know. Refined Iridium. That will come so in handy. As in, not, but you know. Why is Karis a bird? That's the real question. I don't know. I would imagine they would look more like Hana, obviously enough. I would imagine Hana being more of a mind-joining types of aliens. Yeah, definitely. That would fit way better, that they would be mind-joining aliens. Definitely those uh, Hanars, definitely. And after all, they can communicate like that with different ways themselves anyway. So it would be... So much more logical. Way, way, way more logical. We've got a major haul coming in from that dig site, boys. Move all the unsorted cargo to the mines to make room. 
all the unsorted cargo, eh? Okay. Objective was this way. Oh, there's a door. I completely 100 missed that door somehow. Whoever you are, you won't make it out of here alive. Sure, I won't. Oh no, not a robot. Oh no. Not these goddamn robots. Not these goddamn robots. To be honest, I guess I'm gonna be... Okay, I can't even leave into here. That's very bad then. I've got no shield. Like, how am I supposed to survive anymore is a great question. Yep, I can't. If I had realized that, I would definitely have tried to do it differently though. Because I did not realize that I cannot even remotely even like go back anymore. Because the door is closed. So yeah. That's um, that's gonna be a difficult battle. Always these robots are the things that always freaking destroy me. Absolutely freaking lutely destroy me. That was an explosive grate, wasn't it? I was thinking that that actually looked like an explosive grate then, when I got exploded pretty much, but that was a little bit too late to react to that anymore. Uh, Goran Sturian is just about every species other than Asari look different. Yep. Different than humans is what I meant in case I, it wasn't clear. <laughs> humans look different than humans. Okay, Said is already dead, which I'm not too surprised about, to be honest. I tried to go and back uh, go down, but I just did it just a little bit too late. Humans could look more interesting, yes. Definitely good. Why haven't they made humans look more interesting? Now that's the question. Why? Why, why, why? Mm-mm. They've seen us. Uh. Garrus, can you come here, please? Uh. Not you, oh. Said. Not you. Affirmative. On my way. I want Garus here, if in any way possible. Not exactly Saeed. Why can't Karus come into here though? That's my question. Why can't Karus come into here? God damn it, I hate it when I get stunned. 
that's the worst time, like worst situation when you get stunned so that you just can, simply cannot get into cover no more. I could get freaking wins. So Babylon 5 was good. Animal like property. I'm on it. Defense systems active. Fire in the hole. Of course, if they especially try to attack both against me, that's definitely the first time for me. Can you actually get into here? I guess they might be able to get into here, which would be very, very bad for me. Extremely bad. Garus, you're free. Please try to actually take a shot. I feel slightly threatened. Just slightly. Having failure. Careful. Garrus, please do something. Just like uh, go there or something. I can't even press where he should go. <laughs> Which is very annoying. I'm, I'm with you. You're not with me though, Garrus. Why are you not with me? <laughs> I just need you to fly, please. No, 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 no. Oh, Garus came here suddenly. Well, hi, Garus. Where did you exactly come from? I'm not sure, but welcome. It's nice to see you. Hi, Mech. I don't like you, you know. I don't like you, like, at all. As long as you're not moving all the time next to me, though, I'm kind of okay. Kind of okay with that. Okay, finally. Finally, finally done with that phase. Suddenly it started to move forward even. Oh my goodness. I don't want to be here at all like right now. Could I have sighted you into here though? Sight, please. This will put him down. Like, I'm asking you to come here, please. God damn it, I hate that. That it managed to hit me from there just barely. Because I tried to just command Zaid to actually come there so, so that he would be actually useful and not be where I was, but he just didn't come into there. I guess I have to do that all over again. I'm not sure if I have to do the mech battle again, but I guess we'll see. Probably yes. That's just annoying. 
Yep, I do. That's so annoying. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Villain's body or something. Mm -hmm. Slightly. If that robot could scream, we would get so many oohs. Uh, turn it there, like the other fe <laughs> fella, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh god. We've been spotted. Gotta stay there. I think Garos can be the most useful from that position, though. No shield. Sight, sight, poor sight. I was assuming that sight will definitely at least go down soon. And so did Skarus. Please, 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 just get shield cover. Ooh. I need to get down at get one kill at least first, even though this guy is in a very bad position. But I cannot, in any way, think of getting. Okay, how? I guess it was still able to shoot me, even though I thought that I should be in cover. But I guess I wasn't in cover well enough. That's very annoying. Oh gosh. Don't like this battle. Maybe you should start so to sell Lara, but then, sure. I'm sure that would be lovely. Okay. Seen us. Still think that this is the best position I could be hoping to be in. I think I need to concentrate on the one though that is going and moving more. So this guy. Definitely. At least there's one good side. Garrus is still alive. But, uh, I'm in a very bad position. Very, very bad position. Oh my god. I'm so afraid. I tried to already change into this at least. I guess I could try to bring Said back alive, but... At least I'm as protected as I can hope to be. No shield! I can't really concentrate much into there because of the situation that I'm in. Did 
Just need a little bit more damage to this guy. So we can get him to fly. Finally. Oh my goodness. It's gonna blow. Okay, and you guys are pretty much taking care of this guy, which is uh, something I am grateful of. For certainty. Uh, Karus, if you can come into here, that would be appreciated. But I would like if you wouldn't be blocking me completely into there. That would be much appreciated. Fire in the hole! Okay. Take whatever positions you need, okay guys? Just take positions. Just get into positions, please. I was looking that apparently the other side is failing. Okay, we'll see how many freaking times I have to do this again and again and again. It's not much congratulations while my team is failing too badly. They just attack really quickly from there and it's difficult to get into a position where you would be safe. Especially when your team members are on your way. Like that position is good for me to deal with the robots. But what about then? <laughs> uh... God damn it, I don't enjoy this one freaking bit at this moment. It's just they all the time freaking get killed and just everything goes badly. We've been spotted. <sighs> Garros, stay there. Please. I would love it if I could at least save in the between, but I can't really. Now they're even both moving. Definitely not a good thing when they're both moving together like that. No way a good thing for me. Poor old me. How am I supposed to be safe now? <laughs> I need side back, I'd say. Side, please just shoot. I 
want you to explode. I want you to explode so you do some damage to this thing too. Oh yeah. At least they are in a better position sort of right now. To be honest, I'm gonna start moving now. There's no reason why I wouldn't move now into a better position. No reason not to. No reason whatsoever. Garus, stay there. Going to ground. And you, Said, come here. In the same place you were in. There's no reason for you guys to be moving in any sense or form. Freaking A. That's the problem. This guy just comes in here and just kills us basically at this moment. And I'm dead. It's just so annoying when they just charge from there like that. Ay, ay. That flip. I have heavy weaponry, yeah. That's not really useful, that heavy weaponry that I have. Sorry to say. It kills barriers and shields. Uh, it's not gonna do that much when there's a huge amount of freaking enemies to come up into here. So, I don't think that's in any way going to help me that much, to be honest. don't think that will be helping me that much. I wish it did. They're through my shield. I definitely at least do not have weaponries that would be that efficient in something like that. Gosh. It's just annoying to have to do this fight again when there's uh, that coming up next. Don't say you can shoot me from there, please. <laughs> Defense systems active. Unfortunately, you have not even taken hardly any damage yet, but I guess that's okay. At least these are not the same time as the blue suns, but yeah. I don't know if I should ask one of them to come into here or not, to be honest. Firing a high impact shot! Uh No, 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 no. Affirmative. We've been spotted. Moving the cover. Shields down. Yep, yep. This is not good in the least. Not good in the least. We'll see how this goes then, but yeah. I'm quite suspicious anyways, personally. I want my barrier back before I risk anything else. I was looking at that. Is that guy to my left dead? 
I guess I should also use those more of them, but I did try <laughs> at some times, but yeah. Show them what the blue sun is. That's impossible to aim into there, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I'll just get you up, Garrus. Like, why does that have to be so impossible to shoot into there? I guess we're making it now, but it's... Ugh, definitely wasn't fun. Definitely wasn't easy to get into this point. This Just down. fly. <sighs> Definitely took a while. It's especially just because they... Some of them uh, try to come at... What the hell is happening again? I'm pressing le right mouse button, which... Right, like the D button. So I should move to the right and somehow I move to the other direction. What is my controls doing here? I'm moving to the direction that I'm not pressing. Uh, yeah, at least we should have survived, so I guess that's fine. I don't understand why I can't use my singularity either. I guess that's just not a good enough uh, cover or something. That's the only thing that I can think of from that. When it's just simply not working. Captain Naron got his shields back, but that's not too bad if he just has his shields back. Okay, finally. It was just the main issue was when they charged so much. That was the main problem. And then when the guys died, my guys died, so yeah. Understood. Loud and clear. Oh god, finally got through it. That took way, way, way longer than it should have taken, I'm sure, but ugh, some can be so annoying. I've got the full damn day. That's nice, Tayunda. Hmm. Can't really maneuver that much on insanity because of the ridiculous amount of damage you take. Yep, insanity is what insanity is. Kane. Hmm. Well, but that... Uh, it seemed that those guys wanted to attack into there. That's the problem. And uh, it wasn't like there was... First time that I was in there, it didn't seem that that was a very good cover. It just for some reason they don't want to then climb up the stairs. They should very well be able to do it. And when I was behind these few barrels, it's not exactly like I am really safe here. Like, if I'm here... Someone can shoot from there. If you just stay there, I'm not in safety. And they came from there, so I assume that some of them will be staying and posted up in there, and they can shoot me if I try to shoot these guys in here. That was my main worry, and I don't think it was a wrong worry to have, because I think some of them shot me from there originally when I was around here. Like, sure, maybe it could be working for one person, but even Karus got killed here when he was then alone here when I tried to assign him to stay there. So, it didn't seem to be working very well before any house when I started to stay there. But yes, the congratulations, thanks, nonetheless. Games and the wonky controls today. Yep, that was very strange controls though. Feeling like I'm trying to press the D button and I'm going like left and not right, which was like, what? What is going on with this control? And he sticks to that. Another clip for the flipping mech, <laughs> since this was a pretty damn impressive. Yep, it's impressive mech. Very impressive mech. This is an extra room. Some dead person here too. Client agent incoming. An agent from the prospective client arrived today. The client has asked for discretion, which raised a few red flags. On Commander Santiago's succession, a plan, I plan to persuade the agent to divulge the nature of the location of the cargo. Protean artifact confirmed. Well, that didn't take long. The client's agent folded under minimum pressure. Commander Santiago's hunch was correct. The client hopes to hire us to move a Protean artifact from the dig site. With a little more pressure, the agent should gladly give up the location of the dig site itself. 
The exact location confirmed. It took some persuasion, but the agent gave up the location of the dig site and dispatching ships and men to the location now. Santiago ought to be pleased. That protein artifact is worth much more than we'd ever get for transporting it. Yep. <laughs> that landing was epic. I didn't have quite as much time to concentrate on that landing, but yeah, um, I did see at least partially that it was doing a pretty nice uh, landing job. I was thinking that that should be the place to go, so maybe this is also partially an extra area. Seems to be. That's nice. That's that one. And there we go. 1,800 credits. Wow. The price we got. Well, from small amounts, bigger amounts, gather up slowly but surely. In the end. There we go. Okay, is this the last place I needed to come into? Hopefully that was the last battle. I guess it was. I hope so anyways. Distress beacon control overload. Thank you very much. That should do it. Yep, that handled it. Deactivated distress beacon at Brunfield mining facility, facility eliminate Pluson's resistance. Cerberus credits, Viridium found, nothing more. Engineers can generate combat drones so that can distract enemies. Yes, it's nice. The drones are nice too, for sure. <sighs> so that's done. I guess next time it might be. I don't know if it should be already the next time the no messages for you, Commander. new, like the main story, or should it not? But yeah, definitely won't go into another one. That took way longer than it should have been. Should have been able to do it earlier, but well, it's like small mistakes. Well, cost you a lot. So it is as it is. I had fun, of course, but of course there's uh, the frustrating moments, but hey, we did it still on the insane difficulties and all, even if I had difficult times at times. But hey, it's normal, it happens. Specifically when playing blind, even more so. Even more so than if you at least knew what you were doing. Okay, let's do a proper save. No idea what exactly we should be doing next, but we'll see. Can you check how many systems have 100%? It's most of the systems, I'd say. Like... I guess we should travel first and still to the mass relay place. Anyways, a good idea to ba uh, travel back there, so why not? Do a little bit extra in that sense. Get some fuel. We have 16,000 credits. So, we have... Uh, None of these, I, I assume all of these are indeed, that's apparently not 100%. Well, that's a shame. I guess they don't, I thought that maybe all of the places that I have 100% show like that, but apparently not. So I should go and explore some of these then. So Hades Nexus at least has some things unexplored. So I should go there. But it's a lot more difficult to go and check all of the places when the places that are do not have 100% but do not have quest are not shown. So Eagle Nepula is also something to explore and then minus Wasteland. So those three places at least. Is there anything else without 100%? Don't think so, other than of course this place, but that's different. So three places basically with uh, not 100%. Minus Wasteland, nothing. Eagle Nepula, 25 and then... 
hates Nexus 61%. So those things I guess I should go and do first and then maybe we can show, go and check out in the Shadow Broker base if there's some specific assignments more. New gain heavy weapon is... Heavy gain weapon is nice. Kai gain. Minus wasteland, eagle, nepo, and hates next one. Then, yep. Uh, okay, let me check what the, that heavy weapon is. Uh, as such, it's not like I need the other weapon anymore for barriers and such, because I at least have also the shotgun that takes good care of armors and stuff like that. So, I just need to remind myself how to go and change weapon setups. Hi, Jacob. Okay. Gain. This one. Um, the effectiveness and efficiency of mass effect based weapon technology has rendered large scale deployment of high explosive weaponry all but obsolete in infantry weapons. But yeah, the problem with this is just the problem that it's not like you can easily test them out um, that quickly. No mother scientists have prototyped a modified version of traditional high explosive rounds that is applied to a 25 gram slug when accelerated to 5 kilometers per second. The round is devastating. Though a technically inaccurate label, this prototype weapon is nicknamed the Nuke Launcher, and its high explosive matrix generates an arch typical mushroom cloud on impact. It inflicts high damage with large area effect, very effective against the armor, shields, and barriers. The thing is indeed that. Usually, or most of the time, I still don't have to use something like um, a weapon that is effective against a large group because singularities and so on and forth take good care of people. But sometimes, especially when you are just done with another fight, like the case was there, you can get overwhelmed. At least I could. Harmor is with your fave man, Jacob, yep. But yeah, a few areas that at least can be looking to. But wasn't sure if there would be. But at least I couldn't find any other places that went 100%. So I think those should be the only places then. But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Massive Effect stream here on Twitch streams and later on in YouTube as well. A few more assignments done. A few more missions and everything done. And uh, a little bit closer to the uh, last, last things to do. As in the main quest. Actual the main quest someday. Woohoo! Monday. So, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, we'll continue next Sunday, of course, with more Mass Effect 2. So, thank you and bye bye.